In this video, I want to talk about transpositions. A transposition is just a cycle of length 2. So it's something of the form AIAJ, which just interchanges the two numbers AI and AJ. We actually have that every cycle can be expressed as the product of one or more transpositions. One way to do this, if we have a cycle A1, A2, all the way up through AR, we can write it as the transpositions AR, AR minus 1, AR, AR minus 2. Keep going. We have AR, A2, AR, A1. So we start with this element here, the one at the very end. It's going to be the beginning of each of these terms, and then we just slowly go backwards. Let's look at an example. Here I have a cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Using this rule, I'm going to start with 5, the last number here, and slowly backtrack. 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 2, and finally 5, 1. And let's double check that this works. In this case, 1 maps to 5 and 5 maps to 2. So we have 1 maps to 2. 2 maps to 5 and 5 maps to 3, so we have 2 maps to 3. 3 maps to 5 and 5 maps to 4, so we have 3 mapping to 4. Finally, 4 maps to 5, so we have 4 mapping to 5. And just to double check, we have that 5 maps to 1 and then 1 remains constant, so we do get back to 1. And this is not the only way to write this. I could have also written it as 1, 5, 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2. In this case, we have 1 mapping to 2, remaining constant. 2 maps to 1 and 1 maps to 3, so 2 maps to 3. 3 maps to 1 and 1 maps to 4, so 3 maps to 4. 4 maps to 1 and 1 maps to 5, so 4 maps to 5, and then finally 5 maps back to 1. So writing this as a product of transpositions is absolutely not unique. Here's another way to write this as a product of transpositions, and you can double check that if you try to condense this and do your composition, you do get back to the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So not only how we write a cycle as a product of, of transpositions is not unique. The number of elements in that, trans in that product is also not unique. Here we have four elements, four elements, but here we have six. So how many transpositions we have is also not unique. Let's look at a couple more examples. Here I have 4168235, and I'm going to use the same algorithm I did on the first example. Start with the last element and backtrack. So we have 5, 3. We then have 5, 2. And 5, 8. Looking at our next parenthesis, the last element is 6. So we would have 6, 1. And 6, 4. Let's go ahead and double check this. 1 maps to 6 which remains constant, 6 maps to 4, which remains constant, 4 maps to 6 and 6 maps to 1, so 4 maps to 1. So this parenthesis is correct. Now let's look at the next cycle. 2 maps to 5 and 5 maps to 3, so 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 5, 5 maps to 8, which remains constant, and then finally, 8 maps to 5 and 5 maps to 2, so 8 maps to 2. So this is accurate. Let's do another one. This time I have it written in full tabular form. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and move to my, my cycle form. 1 maps to 3, 3 maps to 4, 4 maps to 2, and 2 maps to 1. We then have that 5 maps to 8 and 8 maps to 5, 6 maps to 7, and 7 maps to 5. So all I really need to deal with is this first cycle here. It starts with a 2, or it ends with a 2. Then we have 2, 4, 2, 3, 
two, one. And then I can write down my five, eight and my six, seven. So now I have this one written as a product of transpositions.